Hi guys, I'm so sorry it's taken so long for me to do um, another video and I'm going to try and keep you updated. I've been so busy, second year of nursing is crazy, it's nothing like the first year um, and in this video I'm just going to take you through a bit of an introduction into the second year um, and how it's set out and what we've been doing. Um, so exactly the same as the first year in, in how it's set out, we do six months theory, six months placement. Um, so I'm in uni from September to uh, January, um, well the end of December and then our exams are in January and then I do placement from February um, to July again and our placement is broken up into eight weeks, five weeks, five weeks so there's three placements and in those placements I will definitely, definitely everyone gets a community placement this year. Um, and then two other placements, which I won't find out what they are until December. Um, but I'm hoping I'll get, I was on a general ward last year, so hopefully I'll get a special care baby unit this year. Um, and one other one, which I'm really hoping to be A&E, but I'd be very lucky if I got special care and community and A&E. So we'll see, we'll see what I get. Um, in terms of the theory, it's a lot harder. Um, our assessment's broken up into two exams and two assignments. One assignment is a presentation on a public health topic, so I'm doing child poverty and that's due in four weeks time. Um, so I'm going to try and get that recorded for you as well, um, so that you can see that when I get my grade as well. Um, I also have an essay which is a research critique, um, which I've never done before, so um, I'm a bit worried about that. I'm worried about the presentation as well because um, all these are graded, go towards our final grade, whereas last year it was kind of to get into the second year and I got straight A's, but luck this year it's a level up and it goes towards our final, final grade um, at the end of the degree. So it's a lot, um, a lot more riding on what we get um, and a lot harder to get A's. So um, we'll just see how it goes and I'll work my hardest to do that. And um, it's... There's also two um, exams, one math exam where we have to get, I think we have to get 90% or something in that. Um, and then the another exam which is scenario based, so you, we get before, about four weeks before the exam we get the four scenarios and in the exam we have to pick two of them. Um, so we obviously don't know what the questions are on but we know kind of what the illnesses will be and the age of the child and so we can revise things. Um, and it has to be academic, academic sources and things, so we have to revise the references as well. Um, and it will be a lot of um, physiology, pathophysiology, nursing care, um, that we have to write in these scenarios. It will be, for example, it will be something like, um, so-and-so has asthma, comes in, can't breathe, these are his obs, this is the medicine he's given, what does the medicine do, what's happening within his lungs, um, what are the side effects of the medicine, like what what's happening with the pathophysiology, how are we going to care for him, how are we going to care for the family, how are we going to prevent it, what nursing education will be done, all things around that. Um, so, and that's the theory side of it, it's going so, so fast already. There's 13 weeks altogether, and then week um, 14 is our exam week, um, and we're already, or well, next week, on Monday, it'll be week 6, so we're already halfway through theory already um, and then we get a nice four week break in between like after exams and before placement um, so I'm really looking forward to that already um, and week eight is a reading week um, and we get Christmas off as well although our exams are straight after Christmas so it'll be lots of revising then. Um, so within the theory there's two units, um, evidence based learning in the community or evidence based practice in the community. Um, which is all to do with um, our research and the methodology, safeguarding, community care, ethical practices, um, clinical governance, um, long-term conditions, uh, lots of things to do with that. Then we have um, intermediate skills in children's nursing, which is similar to what we had last year. We have foundations, foundation skills. This year we have intermediate skills. So, um, so far we've done respiratory illness. Um, we're doing diabetes this week. Um, dehydration, fluid balance, um, pain assessment, uh, child with head, head injury, neurological signs, we do our mantras as well, so our CPR um, and um, we've done oxygen administration and uh, 
um, lots of things to do with that as well. So it's a really, really busy year, definitely a step up from last year, um, but I'm enjoying it um, and working hard. If you see my table now, it's just full of um, books and things for me to do. Um, so I'm going to try and keep you updated, try and keep you informed and videos coming. Um, be patient with me and give me your feedback and um, subscribe and, and thanks for all those that have subscribed. Thanks that I have so many subscribers, um, all my new subscribers. Um, hello um, and hope you enjoy my videos. See you in my next video. Bye.